So I was just reading a comment from Moon Monster, and he was saying that um, there's uh, UK companies that are newly formed, corporations, that have AMC in the title of their corporation, and it's alleged that, I don't know, Adam Aaron uh, is saying some sort of a tweet. I didn't see the tweet that there could be potential corruption going on in these newly formed companies that have AMC in the title. Now, again, I must say it's alleged because I have not, I have not verified this. This was just a comment that I read uh, from Moon Monster, who I trust very, very much, but it's still, I have to say alleged. And um, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, there is so much, in my opinion, corruption going on in this market. I mean, they, there's got to be a place, right? Where, where it all starts. We have to find the origin. Maybe that's it. You know, it's a, they're, they're using these companies, you know, to do to do the crimes. I mean, it wouldn't shock me. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. Matter of fact, I hope that uh, the, D, the Department of Justice, we see the problem is this is UK. This would be another country, you know. It's not America. But still, you know what I mean? Uh, somebody, you know, um, has got to get to the bottom of this. Because AMC is not just the United States. People don't realize AMC. AMC has 10, uh, around 10 million, we, we think at this point. It could be a little less, a little more. But 10 million retail investors worldwide. AMC is worldwide. And in terms, in terms of the retail investors that own AMC, it is worldwide. And um, it is not just limited to America. And, you know, maybe that's, that's, that's another thing that they might be doing. You know, is trying to limit exposure in America, you know, and maybe that's why the Department of Justice potentially is not finding much because maybe a lot of this corruption could potentially be happening outside of America in another country, possibly allegedly the UK. We don't know, but someone's got to get to the bottom of it. Uh, it's not financial or legal advice. I'm not a financial planner or an attorney. This video is for entertainment purposes only.